It's a familiar gantry on the roads and expressways. Under the Electronic Road Pricing or ERP system, which has been around since 1998, motorists are charged when they pass the gantries that are in operation. And as the car population grows, so too has the number of gantries. The Land Transport Authority says the current electronic road pricing technology has served Singapore well, but it would be impractical to continue installing even more gantries to manage congestion in the longer term. So there's a need to look for a more effective system to reduce the dependence on physical gantries. The LTA will be conducting various technical tests to evaluate if the latest technologies available in the market today are accurate and effective enough for use as a congestion charging tool especially taking into consideration the dense urban environment in Singapore. One possible tool is the Global Navigation Satellite System, which makes use of satellites to track a vehicle. Experts believe it's a more flexible and fairer system for road users. Moving to a system where you charge per kilometre travelled, and, and a much lower charge per kilometre than the individual gantry charges, um, then the short journey pays less, and the long journey, which imposes more congestion, pays more. It should also be fairly easy to get the system in place. I assume uh, that the existing facilities in Singaporean vehicles, um, with the smart card reader and the charging facility, will be able to be used with uh, GNSS. The move to do away with gantries should also lead to cost savings. GNSS technology has been used on trucks in Germany's expressways, but the LTA says it will be more challenging to apply the technology here as it involves charging different types of vehicles in an urban environment.